For each of the following graphs, determine if an Euler circuit exists. If not, determine whether there is an Euler path. So for each of these, we're just going to count the degree on each node. And remember the rule, if all the nodes have even degree, there's an Euler circuit. If not, see if two of them exactly have odd degree. If so, there's an Euler path. If not, there's neither an Euler path nor an Euler circuit. So let's go through and count the degree for each node, starting with graph A. The degree of A is 3, and so is B, and all of the ones outside have a degree of 3, and then node D has a degree of 6. So as soon as we found that more than two of them had odd degree, we know that there is no Euler circuit for part A. For part B, if we count the degree of node A, we get 2, node B, we get 4, node C, we get 4, and node D, we also get 4. So all of these are even, which means that there is an Euler circuit, and of course then an Euler path, which happens to be a circuit. Part C is a little bit more complicated just because it's larger and it can be more confusing to count the degrees, but as long as you take it carefully, you can count the degree for each node. So for node A, for instance, the degree is 4. For node B, it's 6. For node C, it's also 6. Remember that the loop counts twice, so you count both endpoints of the loop. Node D has a degree of 6. Node E also has a degree of 6. F has a degree of 4. G has a degree of 3. H has a degree of 4 i is 6, and j is 5. So notice that they're all even except for two of them. So since there are exactly two nodes with odd degree, there is an Euler path, but no Euler circuit.